Hello and welcome to this video on boundary layer flow. Now what is boundary layer flow? Well a boundary layer flow is nothing but an external incompressible flow. External incompressible flow. Now what is an external flow? An external flow uh, or you can say external flows are flows over bodies which are immersed in unbounded fluids. Now what are unbounded fluids? If you note down these points, you can pause the video and note down or you can listen to these points and then you pause the video and then note these points. Okay, so what is an unbounded fluid? Well, an unbounded fluid is a fluid which is not constrained under certain boundaries. It is an infinite kind of a fluid. For example, uh, the atmospheric air. So if you have a free flowing atmospheric air, it is an unbounded fluid because it is not constrained in certain boundaries. It can flow from anywhere up till anywhere. Okay. Now, then we come to the boundary layer flows. So what are boundary layer flows? So these are external flows which are happening on the body, over the bodies inside an unbounded fluid. So if you look at this figure over here, so this is an aerofoil, okay. So this airfoil is basically immersed in, you can say a fluid flow. So they, these arrows over here, they indicate a fluid flow. All right, so the flow which is happening over the, you can say external surface of this aerofoil are called boundary layer flows. And these boundary layer flows, they happen on top and on the bottom of the body. So they can, so basically the boundary layer flow is happening on both sides of the body. So this is what I have written in the second point that is BL flows occur on top and bottom that is both sides of the immersed body. Okay, now what happens is initially the flow is laminar. So this, these lines, they indicate a laminar kind of a flow because they are parallel and they are equispaced. All right, now, and it becomes turbulent after some distance from stagnation point. Now, this point over here, this is the stagnation point. That is a point where the flowing fluid comes into contact with this body and becomes stationary. So this is called the stagnation point. So the kinetic energy of the fluid becomes zero and gets converted into pressure. And the pressure is called stagnation pressure. Now, as you can see the, the dotted pink color line, this is the boundary layer, which is flowing over the external surface of this aerofoil. And similarly, you have the boundary layer, which is at the bottom of this aerofoil, which is again indicated by these pink dotted lines. Now, initially, or, you know, in vicinity of the stagnation point, let us say up till here. So up till this section, the boundary layer is laminar. So this LBL is called laminar boundary layer. Laminar boundary layer. All right. And after a certain distance from this stagnation point, the transition from laminar to turbulent starts to occur. So T is the transition point. T is the transition point. So at this point or around this point, the transition starts to happen from laminar to turbulent. Now, after the transition point or the transition region, the flow becomes turbulent. So this becomes turbulent boundary layer. Turbulent boundary layer. All right. And after a certain distance, you know, or, or, or at a very far off, the far off distance from the stagnation points, at point S, the flow separates from the body. So S becomes the flow separation point. The flow 
separation point okay now how far is this transition point from stagnation point well it depends upon the free stream conditions that is the condition of the free stream so this is the free stream okay the surface roughness how rough is the body surface and the pressure gradient so these three things are very important note it down that the transition from laminar to turbulent depends upon these three parameters okay so this is a very basic introduction of what a boundary layer flow is that is it is an external flow okay now let's talk about the forces that are you know that are being you know that are being exerted upon this aerofoil due to this kind of a flow now let's talk about the net force that acts on this airfoil due to the boundary layer flow now, there are two components of this net force the net force occurs due to the shear force and the pressure forces okay so there are two forces that come into picture that is one is called the drag force and the other is called the lift force now what is a drag force a drag force is basically the component of the net force which is parallel to the free stream velocity so this is the free stream velocity so the force which is parallel to this is called the drag force all right or the resistance that uh, you know the body has to overcome in order to move forward in the flow next is the lift force a lift force is the component of the net force which acts perpendicular to the free stream velocity that is in this direction so this is the lift force all right so this is how you understand the concept of a boundary layer linking it to the external incompressible fluid flow which happens over a body in an unbounded fluid now after understanding the basic concept of the blf now let's talk about the boundary layer thicknesses